Dear friends, my name is Sister Anne and thank you for joining us today. As we continue our journey through this Easter season, we are still full of the joy of the resurrection. We are waiting anew for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. We in the Oblate community are so grateful that you have joined us so that we can support one another by praying together and we thank you for joining us online during this Easter season. As we celebrate the joy of this Easter journey together, let us remember in a special way the need for peace in our world at this time. We also continue to hold in prayer those who are suffering from anxiety arising from the lifting of COVID restrictions or for any other reason. So let us begin. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. May your Spirit, O Lord, we pray, imbue us powerfully with spiritual gifts, that he may give us a mind pleasing to you and graciously conform us to your will. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us listen to today's Gospel taken from the priestly prayer of Jesus in John's Gospel. Holy Father, keep those you have given me true to your name, so that they may be one like us. While I was with them, I kept those you had given me true to your name. I have watched over them, and not one is lost except the one who chose to be lost. And this was to fulfill the scriptures. But now I am coming to you, and while still in the world, I say these things to share my joy with them to the full. I passed your word on to them, and the world hated them, because they belong to the world, and no more than I belong to the world. I am not asking you to remove them from the world, but to protect them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I have sent them into the world. And for their sake, I consecrate myself so that they too may be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Just as Jesus was called by the Father to serve in holiness and truth, so we too, as his disciples, are called and equipped for the task of serving God in the world as his ambassadors. Today, Jesus continues his prayer for his disciples. He prays for their continued loyalty to the gospel message and for unity among them. Jesus prays that they may be consecrated in truth, the truth of God himself. This truth does not consist of a set of dogmas. Rather, it consists in the living out lives of perfect integrity and wholeness, in perfect harmony with the will of the Father and the way of Jesus, and dedicated to bringing that truthfulness and integrity into the world. They do this by living lives of love, a love expressed in service to the well-being of all. Let us then pray today for the unity among us which Jesus prayed for in his disciples. That we may be ready for the hostility and the indifference of this world. that we may realise that if we want to give witness to the gospel, we must be fully inserted into the world by which we are surrounded. That we may be people of complete integrity, that we may be filled with truth and sincerity, so that what people see in us is what we truly are and wish to be, 
disciples of Jesus. Let us take a moment of silence. Together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. God of all goodness, you fill your church with the Holy Spirit that we may have life to the full. Grant us zeal in sharing the gift of faith with all those who seek you, and we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.